Hi, let's take a look at SPAT Revolution integration from Flux with new window 11. SPAT Revolution software enables musicians and creators to create and mix real-time immersive projects for a wide range of applications, such as music creations, live productions, post-productions, installation sound, or mastering, for example. SPAT Revolution offers channel-based, Banroll, Ambisonic, and Wavefield synthesis rendering options. Spot Revolution is compatible with Mac and Windows computers and available at flux.audio. You can download and install Spot Revolution, including the Return, Room, and Send VST plugins on the same computer as New Windows 11 using the Flux Center software available for Mac and Windows. Now, when you open SPAT Revolution under the Home tab, Resources section, you can access User Documentation as well as DART Templates. If you click on DART Templates, you will be able to download three different templates examples for New Windows 11 and SPAT Revolution. Additional documentation and a YouTube video on how to set up SPAT Revolution with New Window is also available. Now, if we take a look at the signal flow, SPAT Revolution will run side by side with New Windows 11 on the same Mac or Windows computer. In this example, I will use a Mac and the Yamaha AIC 128D Dante PCI Express card, which offer ultra low latency and up to 128 channels of inputs and outputs. The Yamaha AIC 128D card can then be patched to one or multiple Dante compatible devices within the Dante network. Dante devices like DSP processors, power amplifiers, or active loudspeakers, for example. Now for this video, I will use the Banroll monitoring option in SPAT Revolution. So now let's take a look at the three new Windows SPAT Revolution templates, starting with the basic music template. On the new Windows 11 side, I've only added a few mono audio files, which I named under the track name section of the Inspector and SPAT Revolution Sand plugin. I've assigned different colors for each track type, and under Audio Connection, I've connected the AIC 128D card to all the outputs of the template Stereo 5.1, Atmos 5.1.4, and Banroll. Under Group FX, each group should be connected to the corresponding output bus, and the control room should be disabled. On the SPAT Revolution side, I've set the color of each track to the same or similar color as the new Windows 11 tracks, and under Preferences, Hardware I.O., I have the AIC 128D card selected, with sample rate and block size or buffer size matching the new Windows 11 project. You can select or import a custom aid-related transfer function file under HRTF, Manage HRTFs, and set other preferences based on the project at hand. Now you can use the mouse to move any audio object within the selected speaker configuration in the virtual room. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Use the display preferences settings to hide or show presence info, speaker info, background color, etc and control parameters for each sound object are available on the bottom panel, where you can choose to route an audio object through the artificial room reverb or send signal to the LFE, for example. You can select and customize a different artificial room reverb for each speaker configuration. And the output section offers metering, manual speaker alignment, delay and gain adjustments, as well as speaker mute and taste tone options. Now under Edit Output Config, the Speaker Arrangement Editor window offers additional information about the different panning types available for the selected speaker arrangement. You can also import a custom speaker arrangement from a simulation software like Nexo NS1 software, for example. If we take a closer look at Nexo and S1 simulation software, you can easily export 
a .txt file of the project at hand, on right click, select Speaker Positions, and click on Export File. Name the project, and save. Now you can activate Write Read Automation for any audio track within New Window 11 from the Inspectors section, and use the mouse to write automation on any of the many available parameters within SPAT Revolution. To write automation on multiple audio objects at the same time, activate Write for All Tracks in your Window 11 and select Multiple Audio Object within SPAT Revolution. Now the Quick Control feature of New Window 11 can be used to control up to eight different SPAT Revolution parameters on each audio track within the New Window 11 project. Quick Control's parameters can be accessed from the Inspector section, Quick Control tab, or the Mix Console window. Now the Advanced Multiformat Production Template for New Window and SPAT Revolution offers a setup for an NHK 22.2 speaker configuration, a Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 speaker setup, and a Banwall headphone monitoring option. Finally, the High Order Ambisonics Mixing Template for New Window and SPAT Revolution offers many advanced encoding and decoding options. Thanks for watching.